Good evening and welcome to 365 Days of Amazing Stories with Theo Mayer. Here we are on day 64 of 2024. And I'm going to be telling you the story of the Buddha's judgment. Now, back in the day, long, long ago, there used to be these beings that could change forms. They were kind of like monsters, but they could assume the forms of human beings. Now it is told that one day, a woman who had a very, very young child, only two months old, had gone down to the well. Well, it was a spring and a well combined to fetch water, but also to bathe. It was a place where the water came right out of the ground and into some rocks where a pool had been created by piling up the rocks. And after it descended out of this pool, it went rushing down the hillside, making a creek. She bathed her baby and then wrapped it and put it there on the rocks in the sun. And then went into the water herself to bathe. As she had done this, this Yakshini had seen this mother and the baby. And the Yakshini wanted to eat the baby. And so she assumed the form of a woman and walking over to the spring, she said, whose baby is this? This is so beautiful. Is this your baby? And the woman answered, yes, it is my baby. And the Yakshini said, would you mind if I hold it? And the woman said, no, that, that would be fine. And so the Yakshini picked the baby up The woman, the mother of the baby, continued to bathe herself and suddenly the Yakshini went rushing off with the baby in her arms. The woman immediately rushed out of the pool and ran after the Yakshini and grabbing hold of her, said, where are you going with my baby? Give my baby back. Your baby, the Yakshini said. What are you talking about? This, this is my baby. Well, it just so happened that the Buddha happened to be walking by with, of course, Ananda as this whole thing unfolded. He saw the two women arguing over the baby and the mother turned toward the Buddha and said, would you, would you judge our case? The Buddha said, of course, I will. What is the problem? The mother said, this woman claims that this is her baby, but it's my baby. And the Yakshini said, oh, this woman claims that this baby is her baby, but it's my baby. And the Buddha said, fine, will you abide by my judgment? And both agreed, the Akshini and the mother. So the Buddha drew a line with a stick in the earth and laid the baby down halfway across this line with feet pointing in one direction and arms in the other. He told the Yakshini to lay hold of the feet and the mother to lay hold of the hands. And he said, whoever can pull this baby across the line, she will be the true mother. Now by this time, a small crowd had appeared and was encircling this, this unusual occurrence. The Buddha said, okay, pull. 
And the Akshini began to pull with all her strength. And the mother held on to the baby's arms for a moment, but could see that it was causing the baby much anguish and let go, and then stood there weeping. The Akshini snatched the baby up into her arms and said, see, the baby is mine. The Buddha then turned to everyone who was standing around and said, who is it that has a tender heart? The woman that bears the child or the woman that does not? And all who were looking on said, certainly it is the mother who bears the child that has the tender heart. Who is it then that is the very real mother here? The Buddha asked. And all said, well, certainly it, <laughs> it is the one that stands weeping. The Buddha said, yes, indeed it must be. And the Buddha went on to say, give the baby back to the mother, to the Yakshini. The Yakshini had agreed to follow the Buddha's judgment, handed the baby back. And then the Buddha said, who are you? And the woman did not answer. And the Buddha said, you are a Yakshini. I can see it for your eyes have not blinked and you could tell, I could tell that you were taking this baby to eat. Is this true? The woman, who she said, yes, it is true. I am a Yakshini and I wish to eat that baby. And the Buddha said, you've taken this form of the Yakshini because of your evil deeds in the past. And here you continue them. The Buddha then made that Yakshini swear that she would take up the five commandments The mother, of course, walked off with her baby and the Yakshini walked off. Well, hopefully with a commitment to evolve and to grow. And that is the story of the Buddha's judgment. Okay, hope you enjoyed. Have a good rest of your day or evening.